and the referee walks towards us now. We are but moments away. Millfield are going to be led by scrum half Yian Davis, who's going to be up against number eight for the captain of Clifton College, Joe Wooler. For Clifton College, Louis Trevette, Tamoya Adachi at hooker and George Payne at tight head. Jack Pollitt and Henry Davis in the second rows. Back row, Ollie, Ollie Russell, Dylan Haddon and Joe Wooler, of course, the skipper. And the halfbacks, Will Windows and Eamon Rogers. Centres, Jacob Mitchell and Isaac Campbell Wu. And in the back three, Aidan Boshoff, Oscar Green and Thomas Bowen. Referee keen to get things moving. What a fantastic occasion here at Sebba School. We're about to have two incredibly high level games of rugby to kick the season off with. As Millfield with their usual chant before the game. It's going to be Clifton College that kick us off. Those of you who are watching last year may remember that game in the wet and windy conditions at Millfield, just edged by Millfield in that battle between the two fly halves, Sam Worsley and Sam Harris, who will come out on top this time. Well, Millfield have gathered the kickoff, look to play out from their own 22. This is the sort of rugby we can expect to see from Millfield. They will push and probe and see if they can find something. With no space offered, though, it looks as though they'll go to the skies. Good height on the box kick. Well contested, just knocked forward, I think. Clifton have possession. Taken into the midfield. Ollie Russell with the big carry, but Millfield looked to hold it up and look as though they've done so successfully. I think it was Ollie Wilkinson there that got under it. Referee calls them all. Uh, Millfield will have the scrum down. Ollie Wilkinson, fantastic work there. Took on a big man in Ollie Russell. And then the support came in and managed to hold the player up. Short break for a little bit of attention to one of the players. Crowd already starting to build here. We're expecting somewhere north of 500 people on the touchline today, I'm told. As the crowd builds. Sebber and Whitgift, you can see on the far side there, gathered in the pavilion. The back of that more Beasley breaks free, making a charge towards the line. Oh, brilliantly held up by Adachi. Hands up, Blue! Now release the ball, release! Millfield. Clifton College have been in this position twice. What can Millfield do with this position? They're inches away. Hands out now, you had to go, you missed it. Johan Emmanuel now, the Welsh international. Leave him, don't pull him in. Picks them all up, breaks to the right hand side. Move Blue, move! Emmanuel pulled down just short. Now Millfield go the other way. Across the line, it's Wilkinson. And Millfield have the first try of the game. Just skews. Oh, it clears this one long. Bowen crabbing infield to try and find a bit of space. Gets the ball to his scrum half windows. Wilkinson again trying to steal the ball on the floor. Campbell Wu bumps off the first tackle, bumps off the second, or he's just, just been hauled down. There's Campbell Wu. Come on, up. Clifton, yet another attacking opportunity. Oh, getting through the hands. Rogers feeds Campbell Wu. Campbell Wu. Campbell Wu is going to get all the way across the line. They've been knocking and knocking and knocking, and Clifton College eventually have made their way through that door. Campbell Wu. Thank you. 
line out. Quick ball after a couple that had been driven. Let's go. Out the back sure to Eamon Rogers, who just feeds Campbell Wu on that short line and the step inside. And I'll be honest, once Campbell Wu gets moving like that, there is absolutely no stopping him. Legends, we've got John Mallett on the Millfield side, Danny Grucott on the Clifton College side. Schools rugby, you see it all. Thomas Bowen really starting to grow into this game is Bowen and Bowen gets the offload away to Joe Wooler his skipper Wooler now feeds Henry Davis into the hands of Trevitt and Trevitt gives it back inside to Henry Davis oh that is lovely lovely rugby from Clifton College the moment of the game so far fluid skillful attacking rugby from Clifton College that's what schoolboy rugby is all about Eddie Jones, are you watching? He takes the full 90 seconds, that's it. If he takes the full 90 seconds. Campbell Woot knocks down the conversion and the referee takes us into half time. Half for Millfield. It's a loose ball, but tidied up at the back by Harry Beasley. Smart work from the hooker, who gets himself across the line, and it's a try for Millfield. The good angle for the left footer. A tricky, tricky conversion in any case. Oh, and that's so unlucky for Howlett. Yoan Emmanuel crashes up for Millfield. Spread it wide here to Sever Carver. Sever Carver. Davis beats Ebsworth. But it's a penalty for the Clifton College open side. Shut that door firmly. Oh, and it's gone quickly through Eamon Rogers. The tap over to the right hand side, and there is space. Releases Oscar Green down the right hand side, and Oscar Green crosses. On that right hand side, quick thinking from Eamon Rogers. Rogers. A bit of individual brilliance to feed Oscar Green and give Clifton College the advantage. We see there on the replay, standing over the conversion, far touchline. A clean strike, but just drifts across the face of the post, distance between themselves and Millfield. No release it. No hands, lads. No hands. Millfield. Honey potting around the ruck, but having to because of the power coming through from Clifton College around the fringes here. Having to work so hard. Now Clifton looked to go wide towards Bowen, who stepped in at fly half there, I think. Into the hands of Rogers. Rogers is going to go himself, and Rogers gets across the try line. Be very careful. Be very careful. Eamon Rogers. That could have looked like a punch. Two incredible interventions from Rogers in this second half. First to release Green. Second to get himself across the whitewash there on his own. Once more, he switched from right to left. And as he flashed across, the defence just simply couldn't keep up with him. See him there in the foreground, just crabbing across, realises he's up against a forward, turns on the afterburners and across the line. He goes. Campbell Wu with the conversion, almost charged down actually, but Campbell Wu, that's not a problem for him. Slots it over through in the pressure sense of it. Fantastically well. Now Green looks to break out from the kickoff and finds a little bit of space. Big collision in midfield there. And Clifton College, confidence flooding through them, getting the ball through the hands, collected in the end by Bowen. Bowen turning on a bit of pace here, cuts inside, almost could if he had got the pass away, it would have been a try scoring one. Instead, he keeps a hold of it, makes a bit of ground. Does Bowen, windows now, takes it up around the fringes. Bowen will play scrum half. 
or will he? No, it's been turned over by Millfield. So Davis releases this fly half, and now it's out to Carver. Carver down the right hand side, back inside to Howlett at the fly half. Howlett a little bit isolated. So Campbell Wu and Rogers are over it. Rogers ends up stealing the ball. Trevitt, the big looping pass, tight furlong style to his skipper, Joe Wooler. And Joe Wooler inches short, is he? He's not. Joe Wooler is across the try line. A fifth try for Clifton. Conversing will be Finn Fielder. Fielder convert. Gets on the charge. Now through. The middle goes the first half, sensation. Ollie Wilkinson and then Davis feeds it wide and away in the far corner. Millfield are going to have their try and it's the substitute, Jaden Lyons. That's it, that's it. Who's going to score it? The referee, I think, saying that's going to be it. But Millfield finished with a flourish. A lovely try. Wilkinson it was that got himself free around the fringes, fed Davis. That's it. Who fed it on? I apologise. It wasn't Jaden Loyans, it was Hugo Ormerod on the left hand side. Scoring the try off the bench. And that's it. We are all over. Clifton College win the opening game here at the Sepper School Super Sunday. 31 points to 19 against Millfield, a fantastic performance.